events. Do you go to them? Probably. But do you go to events that will help you become a better author or content creator? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, to be honest, your answer doesn't matter at all because this is a one-way conversation where I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about attending your first author event. So grab your ticket and that cosplay costume because we're RSVPing yes this week on Lulu University. Why would you even want to go to an event? I mean, let's be honest. Most events let you live stream or watch replays from the comfort of your own home in sweatpants. But that's only half the experience. Attending in-person events can provide a ton of unique opportunities like more commitment. <laughs> I know this doesn't sound like something that would end up in the pro column when you're trying to decide if you should go to an event, but stick with me here. When you pay for an event and plan travel and take time out of your schedule to go, you're that much more invested and you're probably gonna get more out of it. Recently, I attended a free Tony Robbins event and it was great, uh, probably. I mean, I stopped going after the first day, but if I had paid for it, you better believe I'd be there taking massive action along with everybody else. So when you commit to a financial obligation with an event, you're that much more motivated to get the most out of it. Attending in-person events can also give you an opportunity to connect with experts and thought leaders. Watching online conferences is great, but when you go in person, you have the opportunity to really connect and meet the experts and thought leaders and talk to people that are on the same creative journey as you. You can also gain access to speakers you may not normally encounter. So I don't know who fills your social circle, but for these events, the organizers are trying to pull out all the stops to get you there. So they're booking the best speakers they can. So this gives you a really unique opportunity and access to an incredible wealth of information you may not have had otherwise. Another great benefit of in-person events is networking. So we tell our authors all the time to make connections with authors that are writing similar content to yours or in similar genres, and in-person events can be a great way to make those connections. There is an event or conference for every single niche and topic under the sun, so go forth and make those connections. In-person events are also a great opportunity to validate your strategies, tactics, and instincts. So I have been to a lot of author events and they are some of the most supportive and encouraging communities out there. And it makes a really safe space for you to test out ideas and get real-time feedback that you can use to further your author career. Last but not least, events give you a great opportunity to see what's new and what's next. So you may learn about new topics and trends from sessions, but you could also pick up on some good insights just walking around the conference floor and overhearing what attendees are saying. Not in a creepy way, in a cool way. So now that we're all excited, how do you pick the right events to attend? Well, the good news is there are literally thousands of events to choose from. And the bad news is there are literally thousands of events to choose from. So how do you pick the right one? First, we recommend establishing your goals for the event. Are you there to network? Are you there to learn? Are you there to buy books? Are you there to sell books? Get really clear on what you hope to get out of it and that can help guide you to the perfect event. Next, we recommend setting a budget. So what is it gonna cost to attend the event? Any travel, hotel, meals, extras, all that stuff. Think about what that might look like for you and then build out a budget you are comfortable with and then find what events will fit that budget. Our next tip is do your research. How many times have you heard me say that on this channel? This is no different. Do your research. Most events have a website or a Facebook page detailing the schedule, the speakers, the lineup, the sponsors, everything that you would wanna know going into it. So take the time to find out which one will be right for you. This is also a really great opportunity to invite some engagement on maybe your website or social media channels. Ask your fans and friends and followers what events they've been to and which ones they like, and that can help you find the right one for you. And there you have it, your guide to attending events. Let us know in the comments below which ones you're looking forward to, and then hit like, hit subscribe. And we'll see you next time, maybe at that event.